Many people are starting to feel the frequency of the new earth, and increasingly, more and more individuals are finding themselves firmly rooted in this new reality. We used to fluctuate between dimensions, often sensing the fifth dimension but not quite staying there. Now more of us are anchoring ourselves firmly in the new earth, creating a distance from the old world we knew. It's as if we're the first explorers setting foot on a brand new continent, leading others into this uncharted territory. As some people find themselves on the cusp of a significant shift, our planet is undergoing a remarkable change, influenced by an increase in solar winds. These solar winds carry an energy that is even more potent than that of solar flares, known for their intense bursts of radiation. Unlike solar flares, which are sudden and dramatic, solar winds offer a more sustained energy flow, impacting the Earth's magnetic field and, consequently, our consciousness. This surge in solar energy is acting as a catalyst, elevating many of us into a higher state of awareness, what many refer to as the new Earth. After this shift, we start noticing an increase in eco-friendly products in the market, reflecting a collective move towards sustainability. Government and societal policies begin to shift, focusing more genuinely on the overall well-being of communities rather than short-term gains. These changes are gradual, yet you can spot them in the little details of everyday life, like adopting new ways of living and being. Even as we move into this new dimension, we still experience a range of emotions and face life's challenges, but the way we handle them is transforming. Today, I want to share with you nine signs that you're stepping onto the new earth. If this is the first time you watch my video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, by the way. Here, we weave together personal and spiritual growth with a motivational spark, often illuminating our discussions with a touch of science. It's all about unlocking your life's full abundance and stepping into your power. On the surface, life might look the same, but everything just feels improved. For instance, the quality of things we buy online seems better. At home, we're replacing old things with better ones. The everyday items we use are of higher quality, and the people we meet seem more friendly and upbeat. Challenges that used to stomp us now have clear solutions. It's as if life has been upgraded. There's a natural shift towards attracting and appreciating higher quality things. Beauty seems to find its way into our lives more easily, and we feel a deeper sense of love all around. While surfing the internet, we often come across content that touches our hearts. Unlike the third dimension where systems aim to unify thoughts, the fifth dimension fosters heart-to-heart -heart connections. This brings about greater empathy, understanding, and tolerance, enhancing our sense of connection with others. You might notice that you're not quite the same person you used to be, and these changes can happen surprisingly fast. Perhaps things that used to be important to you now seem less significant, or you're exploring new interests that are totally different from your previous ones. Even small habits like your sleep patterns might change dramatically in just a few days. For example, you might find yourself going to bed early even though you've never been an early bird before. Or you may start leaning towards a vegetarian and healthy diet despite having a previous love for meat and junk food. You could also experience things like feeling as if you've shifted to a new parallel timeline. It might feel like you've just moved to a new place and are still figuring out your routine. You might embark on a completely new path or continue with your old ways, but with a fresh energy and attitude. This new vibration of Earth is unlike anything our souls have encountered before. We can't always rely on our past experiences to guide us anymore. It's like starting from scratch, learning how to live anew in this different energy. Besides, sometimes it feels like our actions can't quite catch up with the rapid pace of these energy shifts. If you felt something similar, where it feels like your physical actions lag behind your thoughts or intentions, feel free to share your experience in the comments. 
The third point is about a noticeable boost in your energy levels. Even though there might be nights when the energy feels too intense to sleep well, on the whole, you feel more spirited and energized. It's harder now to lose that energy too. If you used to feel exhausted and drained after being in crowded places, that's not a common experience anymore. Sure, you might still pick up on negative vibes and have emotional responses, but it doesn't leave you feeling completely zapped of energy like before. This is likely because your core frequency has become more stable, making your energy less susceptible to external influences. The fourth point is that you'll notice your mind becoming more focused and less cluttered with random thoughts. Before, you might have overthought things before acting, but now, when an idea strikes, you're more likely to just go for it. Of course, some decisions still require careful consideration, but you're starting to give more weight to how you feel about things. As you ascend to higher dimensions, life seems to get purer and simpler. Your thoughts streamline. Your mind doesn't race with worries as much, and being true to yourself feels more natural you'll discover that being yourself isn't as hard as it once seemed. When you embrace and accept who you are wholeheartedly, you'll find that others will accept you just as fully. The fifth sign involves realizing that certain places or people just don't feel right anymore. They're not in sync with your new vibrational frequency. This feeling is akin to an inner call, urging you to step out of your comfort zone. It's as if the universe is nudging you away from your current job or professional environment because it no longer contributes to your growth. When you suddenly find your work setting uninspiring or stifling, it's a sign that change is needed. It doesn't necessarily mean you should immediately quit your job, but perhaps it's time to start exploring new career opportunities or projects that better align with your evolving passions and interests. This is about embracing the courage to venture into new professional territories that resonate with who you are becoming. The sixth insight is about appreciating things in your life without being overly attached to them. You still value and enjoy them, but if you were to lose them, you understand that you'll be okay. It's about creating space for new opportunities and blessings to enter your life. Everything is interconnected, and the universe has a way of providing what you need at the right time. Clinging too tightly to something can block the natural flow of energy and opportunities. Detachment isn't about indifference. It's about deeply valuing the present moment, living fully and having no regrets. I have crafted a video about detachment. Watch it if you are interested. To practice detachment, it's essential to have complete trust. Trust that life's changes are guiding you to new phases. Trust in your ability to shape a better future. Trust that there's enough time to achieve your dreams. And believe that the universe hears all of your wishes. A trusting heart enables you to make decisions from a scarcity mindset to the one of abundance. This mindset is part of the wealth that the new earth brings. The seventh sign is the state of unity consciousness. The feeling of being separate from the world around you simply dissolves. You start to feel a deep connection, not just with other people, but also with animals, nature, and everything in the universe. It's like you're part of a bigger whole, one with the cosmos itself. This new perspective brings with it a surge of empathy, compassion, and an ability to forgive easily. Your love becomes pure and unconditional, no longer tainted by ego or judgment. So everything is built on love, understanding, sharing, and mainly for the benefit of the majority. You also develop a profound connection with nature, sensing its intricate web of life that binds all things together. You learn to let go and trust the flow of life, realizing that resisting it is pointless. Embracing this uncertainty, you open yourself to a world where miracles and endless possibilities are the norm. It's a transition to a more magical and connected reality, where you're tuned in to the wonders all around you. On the new earth, you will feel that your life is abundant. 
but it requires an open mind to truly see it. Our traditional views of abundance are often narrowly focused on material wealth. But true abundance encompasses so much more. It's a blend of various elements that contribute to our overall well-being and fulfillment. At various life stages, what feels most abundant can change. For example, in your youth, traveling and enjoying different cuisines with sufficient money might have been your definition of abundance. As you grow and evolve, the focus might shift to the love and connection you share with family and friends. You start to realize that the laughter shared, the support given, and the love exchanged are priceless and form the bedrock of true richness. Besides, engaging in work that aligns with your purpose, that challenges and fulfills you, contributes to a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. Moreover, Abundance can be in the form of good health and the ability to enjoy your days fully. It's found in quiet moments of reflection, in the excitement of learning something new, and in the pride of personal achievements, no matter how small. Sometimes it's as simple as taking a moment to appreciate the little flowers blooming along your walkway or the sturdy trees that stand tall and resilient. These simple natural wonders can fill your heart with a sense of abundance and gratitude, reminding you of the beauty and wealth present in the world around you. The last sign is that self-love naturally becomes a part of your daily routine. Previously, you might have only noticed you were pushing yourself too hard when your body started showing signs of strain. Or you might have realized after a busy period that you hadn't taken time for your hobbies or interests. But now, things are different. When you feel the need to rest, you listen to that instinct without waiting for your body to reach its limits. You've become more attuned to your body's needs and respond with kindness. Have you recently felt any changes in your life? Or what does entering the new earth feel like to you? I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences, so feel free to share them in the comments. If you're uncertain about whether you are living in the fifth dimension or if you're aiming to make a stable shift to this higher plane of existence, there are some practices that can guide you along this transformative journey. Start by embracing spiritual practices, meditation and mindfulness, are particularly effective in aligning you with your higher self, helping you tap into deeper levels of consciousness. Alongside, actively cultivate positivity in your life. Adopting daily affirmations and maintaining a positive mindset are essential to resonate with the higher frequencies of the fifth dimension. Connecting with nature is another crucial aspect. The natural world acts as a grounding force and can significantly balance your energy during this period of transition. As you embark on this spiritual journey, don't forget to nurture your physical body as well. It's important to listen to what your body needs and nourish it appropriately, as this supports your overall spiritual growth. Lastly, it's vital to approach this shift with patience and trust. Understand that transitioning to the fifth dimension is a gradual process. It requires faith in the journey and patience with yourself as you evolve. Remember, each step forward, no matter how small, is a crucial part of this incredible transformation. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit from this message and don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.